In the early 80s, with very little help available to help those living on the streets of Victoria, volunteers started a soup kitchen at St. Andrew's Church downtown. And as the homeless shared their inability to break out of the cycle of poverty and substance abuse, those volunteers decided they had to find a way to give the homeless a home. With more on their remarkable story, here's V. Cooper. Animal Home House is a day house for people that are living in poverty that are trying to find a better life for themselves. More than 20 years ago, this house was purchased by Anawim Companion Society as a home for street people. When we opened up Anawim in 1991, uh, there was a lot of issues with the neighbours. The neighbours did not want us here at all. But over the past 22 years, that attitude's changed. If you go and ask our neighbours today, they like us. They want us here. It's a beautiful home, kept really, really nice. Many people don't even know that this is a day house for street people. As a day house, Anawim offers meals, a hot shower, laundry and friendship. And seven bedrooms means seven men live here full time, clean and sober, getting their lives back on track for as long as it takes. That might be two, three, four years, but that can mean the difference between true recovery and a return to the streets. I was living at the uh, Salvation Army for a week and I didn't really know what I was going to do. Hooked on drugs and alcohol, Michael spent a month at a Victoria Recovery Centre, but then his space was given to someone else. I'd just gotten into recovery and I was like, I thought my life was supposed to get better and then all of a sudden I'm out on the streets. And then I reached out and I asked for some help and I found Anawim and it was like a beacon of hope for me, you know. There's no time limit, there's no pressure. It's not like, okay, your 12 months is up and... Uh out the door you go sort of thing. It's more of a family. Joe struggled with substance abuse most of his life. I left home at 15. But now he's clean and grateful. I feel very fortunate to be here. By giving recovering addicts a home for as long as they need it, Anawim House is changing lives. We have people that um, were from the streets of Vancouver that are now lawyers in Vancouver. We have people that are running nonprofit organizations. Speaking of running, Michael, now sober two years, ran the Good Life Fitness Victoria Half Marathon with the Every Step Counts program Thanksgiving weekend. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.